Hey everybody, it's Suzanne Alexander with the Live Like Luke Foundation. You are receiving this video because you have signed up for the Great Live Like Lou Outdoor Cleanup for ALS Families, and I have an update for you. Uh, we've been getting some questions from volunteers who've signed up for this program, and I thought the best way to answer them was to send it out to everybody because you guys all might have the same questions. So, first of all, thank you. This program is providing value. We got an email yesterday from one of the families who was notified that a Fidel was going to volunteer for her, and she was literally crying with happiness and relief to know that the Phi Delta Theta brothers are committed to the cause of ALS and you guys are doing good in the name of your brother Lou and your brother Neil. And she was just so relieved and happy to have the support. So you need to know that this is really valuable and thank you. Thank you for receiving the email, reading the email, looking at the map, finding a family and saying, yeah, I can do that. Um, <laughs> you're amazing. All right, so some of the questions that have been coming up, I wanna make sure that you all have a chance to hear our answers to this. First of all, this is not a black and white process. Uh, it's a brand new program. We are working in unusual circumstances with this COVID-19 situation. Uh, you guys are working independently from your chapters and your chapter leadership or your alumni leadership. So we just have to be flexible and when you have questions, definitely send Lori or me an email so that we have a chance to respond and give you some insights on how you might handle your worries or concerns. Here's what we do know. When, we met, when you sign up for a family and send us an email, we match you and we send you both an introductory email so that you have each other's um, email contact information. You also have their phone number. And the first thing I want to say to you is please take the first step to introduce yourself to the family. Send them an email and or make a phone call. When ALS families are dealing with everything they're dealing with, they may not be super responsive on email or on the phone. So please try again. Please don't give up on them. They asked for this help for a reason. They need it. They want it. They trust you. They trust us. Uh, so please do be persistent in following up with them. The second thing I want to say is they may not totally understand what they signed up for. They may say, oh, volunteer support, sure, I'll take that, and fill out the form, not necessarily reading it carefully and understanding your connection with Phi Delta Theta, Phi Delta Theta's connection with ALS, and ALS's connection to Live Like Glue. So please take the time to explain to them carefully um, why we're doing what we're doing and who you are and what you're there for. Make sure they understand and feel confident that you're representing a much bigger organization that cares about the cause of ALS because um, they, may, they may not totally understand it. Um, some people are total fans and they know who we are and they love us. Some people may have gotten to us in another way. I know it sounds squishy, but um, take a moment to explain yourself to them so that they get it and your relationship can be productive. Um, secondly, these are, or thirdly, these are weird times. This COVID-19 situation has families nervous, and I hope it has you also being very careful, there's my dog, to protect yourself and to protect the family that you're serving. So please um, be very vigilant about <laughs> whatever the requirements are for uh, social distancing, for ventilation, for um, all the things that you need to do to protect yourself and protect the family, okay? Um, that stuff doesn't go away. We need you to stay safe, and we need the families to stay safe too. They're very vulnerable right now, and we have to be um, clear that we get it, we understand that they're worried, and we're worried too, and we're gonna be careful. Um, this may mean that only one of you can show up on your volunteer arrangement. That was always our expectation, but you may be uh, tempted to invite other brothers that you know are in the community or other family members or friends to go out with you. That's fine as long as everybody's careful and everyone's you know, being sensitive to the social distancing requirements of the area and the requirements of the family too. All communication is good, and if they know that you're on it, They'll trust you and you can trust them back.
uh, in terms of keeping everybody healthy and safe. Um, next, scale the work. Make sure that they understand, you know, you're a team of one or two. They may want a new roof or a tree taken down or some massive thing that you can't do reasonably. Make sure they understand your limits. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say, I can do this once or twice, and I, I got my arms and my legs to work with. And if they can put you to work in helping them in a volunteer situation, you know, great, let's do the work. But if their job is bigger than you can reasonably provide, say no, it's okay. I don't want people to feel extra pressure or feel like you have to go through hoops to satisfy these families' needs. They have a lot of need, and you're one person or maybe two or three with your brothers close by. Do what you can and then feel good about that. It's okay and it's enough and it's a lot. So feel good about that. Uh, let's see. Okay, finally, uh, when you signed up for this program to volunteer for the family, you gave us your shirt size and your mailing address. We will send out the Onward shirts probably on a monthly basis because we don't have staff just sitting in the office able to do that right now. Uh, if people help you on your volunteer project, make sure you send us their t-shirt size and a mailing address so we can show them our gratitude as well. And uh, if you have a chance to take a picture of your volunteer support, make sure you send it to me. I want to brag about you. You're doing amazing things and the world needs to know what Phi Delta Theta Brothers stand for. You guys stand up for ALS and for families that are living with this condition. You support Live Like Lou. You're amazing, and I really want everyone to know what you're doing, and you deserve the recognition. And also, by posting this stuff on social media, we encourage other families to sign up for the support, and we encourage other fight-outs to give it. Thank you. Thanks for leaving ALS better than it's found way too many of us, and uh, for being a force of good in these times. All right, S. Alexander at livelikelu.org. Take care, everybody. Bye.